Hi. Now today, we're going to factor trinomials with a coefficient larger than 1. So, if I have something like this, 2x squared plus 11x plus 15. What's different is, for the first time now, we have a number in front of our x squared. So here we go. I factor. I have x, x. A plus tells me the signs are going to be the same, plus, plus, or minus, minus. How I know, I look to the middle term. You have to understand that. You have to get your signs right. I write down my factors of 15. 1 times 15, 3 times 5. So now, if I did it like the other type, without a coefficient there, I would say, which pair do I add or subtract to get an 11? I have a problem. There is no 11. And the fact that I have a 2 here changes everything. So, once I have a coefficient in front, it's called factoring by trial and error. So, I have to try them and sometimes move things around. I try my pairs closest together first. So, I'm going to try 3 and 5. I have my only choice is 1 times 2. Again, it, I have to check every single time to see if I get that 11x by FOIL. If I check my outers, I get plus 6x. I check my inners, I get plus 5x. I do get 11x. So this one I got first time. I check after that, I better check my first to make sure. 2x times x is x squared. Plus 5 times plus 3 is plus 15, so it FOILs back correctly. All right? Let's do another one. Let's say I have 8x plus 14x minus 15. We'll save that one to number 3. It's a little harder. All right? So let's do 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. I factor. I have x, x. A plus means the signs are the same, plus, plus, or minus, minus. I look to the middle. This has to be minus, minus. My only choice here for these coefficients is 2 and 1. It's either 1 times 9 or 3 times 3. I have no idea. I'm going to try 3 and 3 first. I'll put 3 and 3 in. I check. I get minus 6x. Check my inners, minus 3x, I get minus 9x, fabulous. This times this is plus 9, everything's fine. Alright, let's try one that maybe is not so fine. Alright, let's check this one. 5x squared plus 12x plus 4. I factor. I have x, x, plus, plus. I only have one choice here again. That's pretty good. It's either 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. I have no idea. So I'm going to put in 5 and 1, and I'm going to try 2 and 2. I check my outers. I get 10x. I check my inners. I get 2x. I've just been lucky. I get 12x. I get plus 4. All right. Here we go. Now we'll do a little harder one. I have to factor this one. I have x, x. You got to know it's plus minus because I have a minus. 15 is 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. 8. It's either 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. I have no idea. I'm going to try 2 and 4 and 3 and 5 and see what happens. So I'll put my 2 here, my 4 here. I want my 3 here, my 5 here. I check. I check my outers, I get minus 10x. I check my inners, I get plus 12x. Hmm. So now the problem is it's wrong. If it's wrong, I, first thing I do is don't get upset and erase everything. When something's wrong, the first thing you do is just switch a pair. So I'm going to switch my 3 and my 5 and see what happens. So I'll get 2x plus 5. 
I'll get 4x minus 3. All I did was switch my 3 and my 5. I check my outers. I get minus 6x. I check my inners. I get plus 20x. I get plus 14x. Perfect. Now I'll check my first and last to make sure. 2x times 4x will give me my 8x squared. Over here, I'm going to get minus 6 plus 20, I get my plus 14. I have a minus 3 and a plus 5, I get minus 15. So this is my correct answer. We'll try one more. Let's say I have one like this. 5x squared minus 18xy plus 9y squared. I factor x, x, minus, minus. This one has y squared. I'll put in my y's. Now my numbers. My only choice here is 5 and 1. Makes it nice. It's 3 times 3, or 1 times 9. I'm going to try 3 times 3 first. I check my outers. I get minus 15xy. I check my inners. I get minus 3xy. I get minus 18xy. Then I'll check my last. Plus 9 squared. Everything's good. I just want to do two more trinomials with coefficients in front. So here we go. I factor. I have y, y. Minus means the signs are different. My only possibility over here is 1 and 3. My only possibilities here are 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. I have no idea. If you know right away, then put them in. If not, I go according to plan. I have to have 1 and 3, so I'll put 3 and 1. My plan is to try 2 and 3 first. If it doesn't work, switch spots, then go to 1 and 6. So, I'm looking for a 7. I'll put my 3 here, my 2 here. I check my outers. I get minus 9y. I check my inners. I get plus 2y. I get minus 7y. We want a plus 7. So the hard part's getting the 7. If I'm off by a sign, all I do is go back and change the signs. So my answer is going to be 3y minus 2 and y plus 3, and then I'll check to make sure. Plus 9 minus 2 gives me plus 7. I FOIL, I get minus 6. All right, let's do one more. This is like a hard one. Most of them are not that hard. Let's say I have 6x squared minus 17x plus 10. I factor x, x, minus, minus. The only way this can be really frustrating is if you don't put in the right signs. Then no matter what you do, you'll never get the right answer. My choices are 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. My choices are 1 and 10 or 2 and 5. And there's varied combinations. I have no idea. I'm going to try my pairs closest together first. So without any stress, I'm going to put in 2 and 3 and 2 and 5. It might work. I check my outers. I get minus 4x, my inners. Minus 15x not working. I don't get minus 17. So the plan is to switch spots. So if I had a pencil, which is would be nicer, but you wouldn't be able to see it, I put a 2 here, and I'll make this my 5. So now, I check outers and inners again. I get minus 10x, minus 6x, still not working. So if you put it in, it doesn't work. You switch a pair, it doesn't work. You don't erase everything. I switch one pair at a time. So my choice is to go to 6 and 1, or go to 10 and 1. This is 9 away, this is 5 away. I'm going to try 6 and 1 first. So I'm going to have 6x and x. Have to have minus minus. 
I'm still, I only change one pair at a time, so I'm keeping my two and my five. I just switch spots because now I can see I have minus 6x, minus 5x, I get my minus 17x. So then I check my first and last and everything's fine. So it's called factoring by trial and error. It takes a little work. Hope you do well with Connect. Bye.